first time in Good Neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Unless it's keep dumb assholes away from me insurance. I'm not interested. Now don't be like that. I think you're gonna like what I have on offer. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn? I said let him go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, brother? You killed him. Got a good pair of eyes on you. I think you'll fit in here. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Sounds like anarchy. The best kind of anarchy. Embrace it, and maybe one day you'll call this little slice of chaos home. So long as you remember who's in charge. Sometimes it's hard to take Dez seriously. I remember when she was a green recruit. We could always use some more ammo. Hey. What you need? You know, I'm having second thoughts on the whole recall code. Wait. You read it, didn't you? I read it all right. Don't tell me what it said. You know, it's probably just safer if we don't talk right now. Hey. Sure, I can help you out. You know, I'm having second thoughts on the whole recall code. Get on with it already. Why shouldn't I read it? Just in case it gets stuck in your head. You know, like if I say Rad Roach. Now, don't think of Rad Roach. See? You thought of it. And if it's a real simple code, then one slip and uh, goodbye, Deacon. Anyway, only read it if you have to. Cox says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. What? Can't Another say one of you works looking for McCready? McCready. I was wondering how long it would take your blood ounce to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with Good Neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. 
Come on, Barnes. Look, pal. If you're preaching about the Atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. If you need a hired gun, then maybe we can talk. Maybe. Why don't you tell me who those guys were first? A couple of morons looking to climb the ladder of success by stepping on everyone else on the way up. Shouldn't be surprised, though. It's how it goes when you run with the gunners. You're acting like I'm supposed to know what you're talking about. Maybe it's better that you don't. I want the stink of Winlock and Barnes rubbing off on me and scaring away my business. Now what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? You don't. That's part of the risk, right? Can't argue with that. I'll tell you what. The price is 250 caps. Up front. There's no room for bargaining. What do you say? Everything's negotiable. Would you take 200? You drive a hard bargain. You just bought yourself an extra gun. All right, boss. Let's get out of here. Hi. Want me back on deck, huh? I gotta admit, things have been pretty quiet without you. Let's go then. I'm all ready to go. All right, Deacon. I guess it's your turn. Stay safe. Appreciate that, McCready. You do the same. I'll shoot. Pretty simple arrangement. Yes, I'm the one you're looking. Hey, everyone, gather around. Let's kick the breeze back. Shoot the fat. Now, I know you all are doing your own thing, but I don't want anyone here to forget what matters. Hey, Daisy, glad you can make Remain make. silent How's my favorite during the speech. Doing? Didn't I see you on a date with Morowski the other day? Huh, he wishes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, we're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right, what matters. We freaks gotta stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock! Now, what out there in our big, friendly commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? The Institute and their sins. That's right. Who said that? Coming up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the super mutants, not even those tools over in Diamond City. I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. <laughs> hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with that lardhead. But stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do. When family starts pushing you away for no reason. We all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Not us! And which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? Good neighbor! And who's in charge of good neighbor? Hancock! Of the people! For the people! 